somewhat of a tradition that we open every event with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, the uh, National Anthem, and an invocation. So at this time, I want to introduce somebody that most of you probably know. He's been a resident in the Hemet Valley for almost 40 years. Um, 20 years he's been with the Hemet Police Department, and now he's the Chief of Police for the last four years. Hopefully you know him well, but not too well. How about uh, uh, Chief uh, David Brown? As he comes up, I also want to introduce to you someone who's dear to us. This is someone who's been with uh, Stater Brothers for 40 years, so when he moved to town, he, this guy was already working. Um, he's been 40 years. He's down the street at our, our uh, Stanford store. I want to introduce you to, to you um, from Grace Landmark Missionary Baptist Church, Pastor Daniel Kyle. Daniel, would you come up? Thank you, Keith, and thank you again to Stater Brothers for investing in this great community. Would you please stand with me and join me as we pledge allegiance to the flag that represents the greatest nation on earth. Yeah. Yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Thank you. Please remain standing.
We get so excited when we see the youth of this country step up and show their talent. It gives us great hope because our future depends on the future youth. So we're just so, so proud of you. Thank you for coming today. We really appreciate it. Well, on behalf of our chairman and chief executive officer, Jack Brown, and I would say the entire Stater Brothers family, I'm really honored to welcome you uh, to this grand opening of our new Hammond Sanderson store. As Keith mentioned, this location's been in process uh, really since February of this year, and we are just thrilled that grand opening day has finally arrived. And in just a few minutes, we'll be cutting the ribbon and letting you all inside to see what, uh, what, we've, what we've been able to offer for you in this new facility. I do want to say this is a really proud day for Stater Brothers. We're glad that you're here to join us. Um, and just thank you for being here. We really appreciate you coming out this early in the morning. So besides opening a new store, which we're very proud of, I want to tell you some other reasons why the State of Brothers family is quite proud. We're one of the largest private employers in Southern California, and we've been rated the best place to shop for groceries amongst uh, full-service grocery chains in this market now for several years. So we're very, very proud of and it's something that we try to maintain every year. We also have some of what I think is the best retail grocery experts working for us in our stores, in our distribution center, in our corporate office. We think we have some fantastic people, and you'll, you'll see that when you see the store today. We've also built a tradition over the years of giving back to the communities that we serve. I want you to know that since 2008, this is a very important statistic, since 2008, Stater Brothers and our partner Stater Brothers Charities has given back to the communities that we serve in, in cash and, 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 uh, and, and food over $100 million back to the communities. And I'm sure that you know, many of the civic and service groups that you belong to might have benefited from that, hopefully so. We've also had a very strong presence in this valley for the past 62 years. We opened our first store in Hemet October 10th, 1953. That's older than me. <laughs> it's been a long time, but we're still here. We're very, very proud of that. I'm also proud, thank you, I'm also proud to say that we are the last unionized supermarket operator in this valley. And we're very, very proud of that. We provide over 600 good paying union jobs that have great benefits and also very safe working conditions. And in fact, I'm going to emphasize that word safe because just last Saturday, we celebrated going three years without a single accident. The store across the street, now keep in mind, this was an old store. For three years, they didn't have a single employee accident, not one over three years. Very safe store. So we are a very proud family, and I certainly don't mean to sound like we're bragging, but I do think it's important for a team to take pride in what they do. How we do it is with our great people. In our company, we have a motto, it's very simple. One mission, one team. And that's how we get things done. So it's also important today to take a moment and express our thanks to this community, the Hemis San Jacinto. Leadership in this community has been very helpful. We have today several representatives, a couple of them that would like to say a few words. But before they do, I just want you to know, we started this project, the Hammer showed up at March 1st, and we, here we are in late October, we're going to open this thing, which is a record time. We can't do that without cooperation with, from the city and, and the entire community. So we are very thankful this morning. Right. Well, it's my uh, pleasure today to introduce somebody who's been with our company for a very long time, 44 years with the Stater Brothers family. He's our Executive Vice President of Retail Operations, Dan Meyer. Well, good morning, and thanks for joining us today. Um, as Andy said, Today's an exciting day, and we're all anxious to get this market open. But before we open, I just want to uh, acknowledge a couple people and thank a couple people. First, I want to thank uh, Chief Brown for coming out here. I want to thank uh, Pastor Kyle, and of course, the band. What a great band. So let's give one round of applause to all this real quick, real quick. Thank you. Tonight, I want to uh, acknowledge a few members of our management team that are going to be responsible for the market here. First, the guy that you met earlier, he opened the ceremony today. He's a regional vice president. He oversees 41 of our supermarkets. He's a 34-year member of our State of Brothers family. Let's give one more round of applause for Keith Thomas. Keith. And then next we have our district manager. He's responsible for 21 stores in this area. 
He's a 26-year member of the Stater Brothers family. Pat McManus. And next, the person that you're all going to want to meet, 19-year member of the Stater Brothers family, your store manager, Jessica Brown. Jessica. Thank you, everyone. Good morning. How are we doing? Are you excited? We're ready, huh? We've been waiting for a long time for this, so I'm as excited as you are. At this time, I would like to thank everyone for coming out this morning for this wonderful event. Um, we've been waiting a long time, and I know we're all going to enjoy this together. I want to thank everyone for the opportunity for us to be here in the city of Hemet. We really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone. At this time, I would now like to introduce my management team, the best team around. My assistant manager, Sean Stoll. My service manager, Brandon Moreno. My meat manager, Anthony Rodriguez. My seafood manager, Jesse Salgado. My produce manager, Brian Sahargon. My service deli manager, Emerald Frederick. My bakery manager, Michelle Reeder. And this is your new management team of 195 Sanderson. Thank you very much. Alright, we know why you're here and what you've been waiting for, so we're just literally 60 seconds away from getting these doors open. We're going to take just a second to assemble the ribbon and the folks, but I'm going to need your help. When the time is ready, I'm going to need a 1-2-3 count, okay? So I'll give you the signal. We're going to need a 1, we need a Hammond style 1-2-3 count when we're ready to cut the ribbon. Are you all up to it this morning? Yeah. Alright, well, give us a few minutes to get ready and I'll call for the count we're going to get this door open, alright? Okay.